Spooky levels are the best. There's something about the eerie and haunted stages within a chipper game that just amplify their effect. I guess ghosts truly just make everything better. Including mysteries. A few months ago I covered a strange launch star that was out of bounds in Super Mario Galaxy 1. Within Dusty Dune Galaxy was a star that was defended on all sides by invisible barriers, deadly sand, and gravity. Mind you, if you made it to the launch star itself, you were safe. But you see, this launch star has a twin. And while we can't find it within Dusty Dune Galaxy, we can find one lurking within Deep Dark Galaxy. And beyond that, there's a whole lot of other strange things here. So I hope you're ready to blast in the cosmos with good old Swanky, because we have a lot to cover. This is the story of the deadly launch star of Deep Dark Galaxy, a star that grants us something far worse than death. Deep Dark Galaxy has been something people have been requesting for a very, very long time now. Many players know it holds all sorts of weird things, and in this video, we'll be tackling them. Now, this isn't my first trip into the galaxy covering its mysteries. A few years ago, I actually visited this place at a live stream hunting these very same mysteries. Mind you, I never got to some of them, but that's what's great about going back there today. As a level, I absolutely loved Deep Dark Galaxy. I think it was the juxtaposition of the beach environment with the sinister soundtrack that did it for me. You enter this level not knowing what it contains, and you have no idea how deep you'll be diving once you get beyond the front of the cave, coupled with the twilight sky, and you have something pretty darn special if I must say so myself. Normally when Mario enters this stage, at least on the first mission, we're supposed to head straight into the cave after opening the door. We dive deep into the dark waters, and eventually find ourselves at a ship within the cavern. How this ship got here is beyond me as there is no way it can actually leave the area. However, it certainly isn't the only one here either, as we have lots of wrecked ones down below in the previous area. At this point, you typically start the boss battle on the ship, but there is something interesting about this area right above us. If we look outside the top of the cave, we'll see an insanely bright moon directly above. Now, this moon isn't something you normally go to in the game. It's the only planet in this level that is inaccessible. It also only appears on the star, and the daredevil variant of the star. Why it disappears? I have no idea. It's honestly a huge moon too in comparison to all the other planets, but for some reason it just pieces out between stars. At this point you would of course want to boot up the flying mod and take Mario up there, but there's actually a glass ceiling in this cave holding us in. However, if we head back to the small hole above the water area we came in, we can make it up to this moon. Despite how massive of a planet it is, it lacks gravity completely. So the level's universal gravity takes priority here and we fall straight down. If we do fall off, we get pulled to the center of the area, which just happens to be the beginning of the cave we just left. We'll clip through the ceiling and be facing our ghostly pirate ship again. While on my quest for this out of bounds star, which is actually well beyond where the moon is, there's another neat area that developers left behind. When you normally start the purple coin mission in this stage, you spawn within the pirate ship cave. You cannot go back due to the gate being closed below you, so you spend all your time collecting those elusive purple coins. Side note here, the purple coins music is my absolute jam. Who knew missions I would find soul crushing would feature such a banging soundtrack. Anyways, we're locked in this room, but even though they sealed off the top room, they forgot to seal off the small hole we used before. Using this allows us to get out of the gated off cave so we can explore the rest of the galaxy. The thing is though, developers just left this place totally unfinished. If we go back to the main area, we can see a unique setup that we normally can't see. That tent-like thing they were building on a previous star is actually built, despite it never being built at all on any other star. It can only be seen in this abandoned world. Lots of the toads here are unfinished too, since they have no dialogue at all. They just give you an empty text bubble when you try chatting with them. However, the captain has unique dialogue that he never says elsewhere in the level. He tells us that he doesn't see any purple coins in the dirt here. Mind you, the player isn't supposed to be out here at all. This probably meant at one point you were supposed to spawn out here, but due to the scale of the level, they probably condensed where the coins were at so the player wasn't looking in every nook and cranny. It definitely would have felt like a traditional 100 coin star from Mario 64 if they kept it that way. The toads in the diving area and the boo house also lack dialogue, and the purple toad next to the captain talks about his snorkeling certification. 
Now that everything ground focus is out of the way, let's head into the skies looking for this launch star. The problem with this launch star is that it is extremely far out of bounds, and because of that, it doesn't load in until we get near it. Which is a problem because when we get up there, at some point our planet is going to disappear. After flying around aimlessly for a while, I eventually found it. Its location is just beyond the left side of the stage, but it's far enough up that it is actually outside the first skybox. This level has an overarching space skybox and another skybox that houses the overcast sky. When you travel through the first one, it unloads. It takes a while to get to the star because of how far away it is, but we can reach it if we align Mario correctly when leaving so we don't get lost. However, unlike Dusty Dune's lost launch star, this one is a bit more sinister. Activating the launch star propels us deep into space, and then we just drift. We drift to our death. Now, you might be thinking, but Swanky, at the beginning of the video you said this star grants us something worse than death. And that's totally true, because death is only the beginning because there's something unique about this launch star. Every launch star has a path associated with it. When you view this path from afar, it shows up as a blue streak in the sky. But this path has a unique function to it. When the path is finished, it actually acts as a checkpoint for Mario. If we boot this up in an editor, we can see Mario T posing out in space, warning us that danger is coming. After we die, we respawn at this exact moment, and we fall. But because we weren't launched this time from a star, we don't actually die. We definitely drift for a while, but then something weird happens. Our camera is thrown into a spinning frenzy as Mario is tossed around and around. It's actually really nauseating watching this at full speed because of how fast it happens. So what's going on? Well, when we spawned, our character is in a frozen falling state. We can't spin or move them, but the angle they fall at actually makes us fall into overlapping gravity ranges. We fall perfectly into an area that is basically no man's land, where several forces of gravity are pulling us in different directions. Because Mario is unable to move to correct his position, nor can he spin, he enters a state of limbo where he will be spinning in space forever. When I mentioned a fate worse than death, this is what I had in mind. Being suspended above the level spinning at super high speeds for all of eternity. Quite a bit more sinister than our last launch star encounter, no? To cap off the video, I actually want to highlight one last thing here. Many people have seen these regions in the game and often ask me about them. Sometimes when you're playing Super Mario Galaxy, you'll see these weird squares way off in the distance, and it's confusing to see. The truth is, what you're seeing are the underground pipe areas. They get placed extremely far out of bounds, but if you get close enough, they load in. Those circular or square rooms are kept in a black void that either takes the form of a sphere or cube, and that's what you're actually seeing. Just thought I'd address that since it isn't too far from where this launch star is, and you may have seen it while Mario was spinning like a madman. And with that, Normally at this part I make a clever remark, but today I just want to tell all of you thank you for watching my content. I get to do this every day only because of your support, and it truly means the world. So thank you so much for watching, and until my next video, as always, cheers.